What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So the Mexican pizza at Taco Bell recently made a comeback. I had a plan to go to Taco Bell because I haven't had Mexican pizza in maybe 20 years. But when I got there, they were completely sold out. I then proceeded to call every Taco Bell around the area and they were also sold out. So I am just going off of my general memory and knowledge of Taco Bell flavors here and Mythical Kitchen, who has created a copycat Mexican pizza recipe. And today we're gonna to take it a little bit further by making a giant Mexican pizza. So I'm going to follow Mythical Kitchen's recipe pretty much to a T, and we're going to just use the full amount of beef and the full amount of the enchilada Taco Bell Mexican pizza sauce for just one giant one instead of maybe several smaller ones. I have always been a huge fan of Taco Bell. It's terrible, terrible, terrible as it is. Cheesy gordita crunches are my life, but I know how obsessed people are with these Mexican pizzas, so I am ready to be converted, though it's not made at Taco Bell. It's made at home, so hopefully it's better. Let's get started. First, we're gonna brown our beef in some oil. Also adding all of our spices in while the meat's browning so we can toast them and bring out more of their yummy flavors. Lots of aromatics going on and of course garlic powder and onion powder, which you know I'm not huge on, but it's in a lot of processed and fast foods and thus in this recipe. I can feel you worrying about the cocoa powder, but don't worry, it's mostly for color. I'm using a beef bouillon cube because that's what I had, but Mythical Kitchen uses the Nor Chicken Bouillon Powder. Try and get some good caramelization on the meat. I'm sure Taco Bell doesn't, but we're interested in flavor, so we're doing it. Don't worry about breaking up the meat too much because guess what? We're adding this into a food processor. Nope, I'm not kidding. This is a first time for me. Really looking for little baby meat crumbles? That looks right. Now to make the meat a bit more saucy, we're gonna add in some oat flour. Yes, they use oat flour and it seems way too fancy for Taco Bell. I made my own by blitzing some raw oats I had. Also adding in some hot sauce and water. I mean, there are no words, but also why is my mouth watering? Now let's bang out our Mexican pizza sauce, which is kind of like enchilada sauce and marinara had a baby or something. Got some green chilies, just out of the can of course, a lot of tomato paste, some familiar spices from the meat mixture, hello garlic and onion powder again, and some water to thin it out. Blend that until smooth and oh hey, can you see me? Can you see me? Once it's nice and smooth, go ahead and add to a pan and bring to a simmer to reduce it down a bit. I made the mistake of adding cornstarch directly into my sauce. Don't do what I did unless you want lumps of cornstarch in your sauce. Just add the cornstarch to the food processor with everything else. I ended up having to process again. Now for the backbone of our Mexican pizza, the tortillas. I got these amazing 12 inch tortillas from a local international market. Highly recommend the size if you can find it. Let's go ahead and toast these up, oil them up and toss in a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for five minutes, then flip and toast for another four minutes or until lightly browned and crispy. Now let's assemble. Start with one of your toasted tortilla, then slap on some refried beans. This is just one can mixed with a bit of water to loosen it up. Mega yum. Once you've got a solid layer of the beans, it's time to pile on the meat. Don't be shy. Then top with your other tortilla, smother with sauce, and sprinkle liberally with cheese before popping back into a 400 degree oven for around seven to eight minutes. We're looking for just fully melted cheese. It feels authentic to see the shape of some of those shreds still. To finish, top with a big handful or two of chopped tomatoes. I used fresh sand seeds. They look too pretty to be from Taco Bell, but whatever. Ta-da! Let's get to the good part. Red wine does not go with Mexican pizza, but I have it open and I don't have any margarita mix. All right, we have completed the giant Mexican pizza. The meat was spreadable, maybe just as spreadable as the refried beans, the taco meat, everything just like really, really smelled like the bell up in here. Oh, that. Ha ha. Mm car, -hmm. mm -hmm. I didn't get a napkin. We were like checking on butters every five minutes, just like laying out on the front porch because the door cracked open a little bit. He caught a bird earlier. Last time he caught a bird, Shane thought somebody died in here. Uh, whoop. I think we're gonna sniff 
Oh, oh my gosh, it's like a real pizza. It's like a double decker pizza. Please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall. Look at it. All right, I'm picking this up with my hands. Not gonna eat it with the knife. Feels dangerous. Oh my gosh, this is like, I can't believe how well this is staying together. And I think it's like, because we food processed the meat to make it like, not like baby food, but you know, close. All right, guys. I wasn't sure if I was gonna need any like sauce, like hot sauce. Do I have do I have Taco Bell hot sauce? I'm telling you what though, that is a dead flipping ringer for the bell. Getting the sauce. Ha ha! I don't know if anybody's experienced this, but the fire sauce to me is not as hot as the hot sauce. We'll try the fire. And you know me, I can't handle spice. Wow. What a spicy today. That's like a level of spice though. That's not crazy. I'm gonna have to try the hot. If I can remember back 20 years, I feel like this is probably pretty dang close. Probably better. It's very good. And I found this, this stash of Taco Bell hot sauce in the fridge. <laughs> Tomatoes are key. Everything's very um, like rich and salty and you need something. The hot sauce helps too. Mm. Jane, you wanna come taste this? Turn into a real sport and neighbor. Here, you want to sit down? I'll catch you a little slice. I took all of the insides out of the tomatoes. Pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. The ground beef went into the food processor. Oh. The guy in Mythical Kitchen said it was like freshly tilled soil and the gardener. Mm -hmm. I know what freshly tilled soil looks like now. You got such a green thumb. Yeah. Got a purple tomato plant, a burpless cucumber plant. Good God. Guys, I was in such a bad mood before I started filming, like such a bad mood. But I left the enchilada sauce in our like gray nonstick and it was like completely stained. $100 pan, like 120 or something for two pans. One of them was larger. 
And he said that a hundred, hundred was the price for one can. How? I don't know. Anyways, I did some Googling and found that the magic eraser gets stains off of nonstick pans and it worked and I am not out a hundred dollars. So better mood. Shane is now outside with the cats, hopefully monitoring butter so he doesn't try to capture any more tiny birds. They don't die by the way. I don't know how that happens. Mm. There's not nearly enough sauce in these packets. I'm out of the fire. I'm so bummed that I didn't get to try the Mexican pizza. Like, from actual Taco Bell. Like, now. You know? My memories of it are, like, sad. Looked sad. Looked soggy. So I don't know why I want to taste it. Mm. Hand wash break. Whew. I'm going to show you guys I mean, the cheese is kind of like draping over. So it's kind of hard to see the cross section. Maybe I can try to open this baby up. I mean, there's a good amount of meat in there. Friends. Mm -hmm. I'd say this was a success. Oh man. I'm gonna make this again. I never thought I would say that, honestly. Especially since this recipe. Thank you, Mythical Kitchen, by the way. Great recipe. Since they were trying to make it so much like Taco Bell, I thought it was not going to be great. But, alas, it is. It smells like Taco Bell, tastes like Taco Bell, but better. And giant, so obviously way cooler. Thank you guys so much for joining today. I have linked the Mythical Kitchen video in the description of the video if you would like to try to make this baby yourself. Obviously, feel free. Don't use fresh tomatoes if you don't want to. If you can try to find the flour corn tortilla, you know, do whatever feels right for you. If you don't want to process the meat in a food processor or you don't have one, you can try to use a potato masher. That could work. Anyways, if you do try it, definitely comment. Let me know. Send me a message somewhere. Let me know if you liked it, <laughs> if it was everything you wanted it to be and more. Thank you for just like watching my channel in general, guys. You know, per usual, I really appreciate your support. You know, I've been going through a really tough time. I'm having an okay couple of hours, I'll say, not even an okay day, because I've like, cried a couple times already today, but I'm feeling okay right in this moment. So thank you guys for just like, you know, supporting and being so nice about everything and um you guys have just like given like i don't know lots of comments lots of really nice things so love you guys thank you and i will see you guys 